Royal Majesty, the blessing of our Lord. Yes, my Lord, we have a presentation to make to the eye. So one of the royal priests will be you know, King Celestia, you know, they told them that he, he had a man from Jamaica already contacted him, which is King Emmanuel, you know, and he, and he has him as his authorized ambassador down here, you know. But the Jamaica government and the people who them sent and the delegation come down here and hide the information from the people. For King Emmanuel was supposed to get diplomatical status from all of these times, you know. So, you know, we, you know, we are hoping that, you know, we can work, you know, with, you know, the honorable prince, you know, to, you know, bring forward all of these things, you know. For even Bob Marley did get a letter from Ailey Selassie for King Emmanuel and he never get it up to this day, you know. So all of these things, you know, we just give thanks to have your present amongst us with the royal family, you know. And today is our sabbatical day. As you know, Bobo Shanti is of the sabbatical order, you know. To be a Bobo Shanti, you have to first see yourself as an African, you know. That is our requirement, you know, and the Sabbath day is the next main principle of our order, you know. We don't work on the Sabbath day, we don't do no long traveling, no money spending, you know. As you know, the Holy Bible says, I remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. King Emmanuel is Of the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, you know, and all you know, of the members, you know, we do, you know, give you a warm welcome, you know. Thank you. And we feel, you know, the presence as Mr. Earlier of his Imperial Majesty right here with us. Thank you. Your Excellency, I can see your presence here, my Lord, and your delegation. And you know, we're looking forward for you to sit on the throne. It is a must, you know, so that, you know, black people can realize their aims and their objectives again. Because from they took us out of Ethiopia, Africa, and brought us to this land here, you know, they beat us, beat out of us, our culture, because they said they carry us beyond the sea, where we'll no more remember home. But you know, because of His Majesty, you know, His truth and His right and His grace, you know, it, you know it bless us so that we can continue to see to our own spectacles the righteousness of salvation. We have seen it through Europe's way of life or the American way of life. We've seen it through His Majesty's way of life because that is the right way and there is no other way but His Majesty way. So we give thanks to you again and we hope that you will call upon the United Nations, you will call upon the Her Majesty Queen in Britain, the AU, the African Union, the Arab League and the, and the, and the European Union for our freedom, redemption, and international repatriation. We put it in your hands, my Lord, because you are the king. You are the prince, but you are the king in our eyes, because you are the ones who we see now coming from that lineage, and we have to look to you for our help. So, you know, we pray that the Father will bless you and uplift you and continue to grant unto you wisdom knowledge and understanding and you'll ex exercise as your father said patience tolerance and goodwill towards our enemies so that we can be free my lord glorify and honor of the Ethiopia of Black International Congress, and I the people of all organizations, the church, state, governmental, and parliamentary. We also stand sabbatical, as you see. We stand to reward the founder and leader of President Karantin, the Black Christ in flesh. Holy man, we are the
Mercy Blavis Congress, that the Freedom Redemption Partition, and Cumberland, every man and woman, and that is our her own final victory to one man vice and one woman. I man give thanks to the high present here, you know, and I hope this present at the high, our Rastaman in Jamaica, to see the man come here and try to build a unity because and that is what is the tell I said. If we unite and then feel black man in general, black people, feel for unite in a one. So I and I, that's why the foundation is here, you know. Set, we call here this hymn sing required, my son. My son, come home. We call in all royal black sons and to come to this living here. Because you can't go to Zion without salvation. You can't go to Zion with the wheels of the cinema book. You really can't carry to Zion. You see, my carnival and those things can't carry to Zion. You have to have a clean hand and a pure in heart. And this is the foundation of Emmanuel set to purge. This comes like a bomb yard, you know, a purging ground. Because when they take you out of the land, them take our name, our culture, our language, everything. It's like them turn in a fool. Them let we go in our wilderness. So Prince Emmanuel set this foundation and now to gather our royal Ethiopian sons and daughters and teach them back of the ways. Because you have to learn to dance abroad before you go to the yard. You see what I said? You can't carry these Egyptian ways. We will learn here. The man said, we born a sin and she has iniquity. So we want all Rasta man with the present I, 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 his Majesty grandson to feel our vibes eh, and try to be like unity because this different different mansion where them have <coughs> now work. This a mansion over there, so that the mansion over there, and this one is one thing, one way to the pearl again. King Emmanuel seven. Thanks to the man, you know, greatly, my Lord, and I just bless you. Bless you, my Lord. Thank 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 you, my Lord. We are in 17 years now what we speak about His Majesty, our burden of His Majesty, our book of His Majesty, and we did it to him and we, you know. So we welcome you all and give thanks, and then now uh, we are the same person who took him and we, we shall, could bring back the royal from this Ethiopia. You have to remember that time, yeah. We are the one who did go to the government, that is and demand them to King Emmanuel rights and justice to bring forth what the royal family back to Ethiopia and it did happen. You know, so we give thanks for your presence and each and every one around here, God in flesh, and we are in flesh, so God in us. So Emperor Selassie is the father of us all, and we're Marcus the Alley Prophet, we speak of Emperor Selassie. King Emmanuel mentioned the high bridge of our father and mother, and we all are his children, we are his pastor and disciples. You know, so we give thanks, we are here, and meet you all, welcome you all to the Ethiopia, Africa Black International Congress, that's set up by his majesty. Because his majesty said, King Emmanuel authorized the ambassador for Ethiopia. And then when we were in Ethiopia, there was a man, just like his majesty, and here when they were trying to separate Ethiopia from Eritrea, right? And it's been a concept. Prince Emmanuel government is the only government of Ethiopia, Africa. And they must adhere to us and all what Africa didn't about is just about the world. Right? So we have a dialogue with the AU from Salem, um, UN for Africa, uh, Art of Bureau and all these things. And say, yeah, they're willing uh, to help us, but we ask to come to one amongst ourselves and then now uh, then we then we do what the rest of the Right. So this is the foundation. Black people return back to when the Governor General of Jamaica was going out of office, 
see the free the people to have their own self-governance, determine their self-determination. So 1958, Honorable King Emmanuel formed the People's Government. So now the people first they didn't have a government, two they were free. Now Honorable King Emmanuel formed the People Government. So this is the government, first of March 1958. Then we see the Jamaica get a 1962, 6th of August, independence government. But 58 government is before 62. So this is the legitimate government in our eyes as the people. You know, so we give thanks that this government was set and that the I and your delegates could have come forward here and pay such a visit here. Also, you know, it's a warm welcome to know that. Because the Bible prophecy said he would rise up at David again to sit upon the throne of his holiness. And I know this is a Davidic lineage and the I is the is, is, is the line descendant of King David. So it's just prophecy fulfilling again. So I hope even in this time we could get it right and, and see that everything is restored and see that, that is I and I here in the wilderness looking to go home. Exodus out of Egypt, Jamaica land, you know? Uh, we have nothing against Jamaica, but we know that we are for Ethiopia, Africa. So that would be our first priority. As Marcus Garvey said, you know, you know if, the, if the Chinaman would want to send all his prophets to China, let him do. And if the Syrian to Syria, but us as black people would have Africa at our heart, mind and our soul, you know? Most times, last guy. And also most of all for the security, the police and soldiers, you know. Because our father, you know, our father and the president got that king, seated in Zion and reigning in the hearts of all the He reigned in the hearts of the police, he reigned in the hearts of the soldier, the civilian, and the saints of the most high God in prayer. Holy Emmanuel. So what I'd like to say most of all, our father is crowned champion of human rights, you know. His name is in the UN and everything. The world heads know him. It's just the people we come for don't know him. But what I'd like to say, when his majesty or divine majesty of the last year came in 1966, he left, go he left words, you know, documents with the government at that time, which is the said Labour government, right, the JLP, that all the people should be handed over to King Emmanuel Charles Edward. So we'd like these documents to come up. So now that the man is here, I would like very much if the man could help us to agitate to get these documents. Because before our father departed, he said, it's done, you know? All we have to do, you know, is to continue the struggle on this frontier with salvation. Because he, also the queen, when she came in 66, she said, there's an individual man in this country who no one is to molest. For when his time comes, his law will go over her laws. Who could that be? Whose law could be over Queen Elizabeth's law? That's Father Moses, man, the first lawyer. Right. King Emmanuel is seven. Everything is done. Right. It's just these documents we need to come up. We have already seek to bring up these documents, but we get no reply. But within your international high office, and we are asking the man, you know, please, if you could bring up these documents for us to fulfill our freedom, redemption, repatriation. Holy Manuela. Thanks for this few My Lord, bless the Lord. A warm welcome to the foundation of Christ. Give thanks to all the delegates that come with the eye. You know? Give thanks to the Father who could make it possible for the eye to be here within this 50th year anniversary of the visitation of our mighty King of Kings, Lord of Love, Conqueror and Child of Jesus. He has lost yeah, And as His Majesty said, we, you know, the people in Jamaica, which is referring to the African people and the Ethiopian, we go far away back, you know. We have a great history and we are origin, and you know, we are brothers and sisters. So we know, you know, we are in exile. We realize that, you know, our lineage is also in exile. 
you know, we continue to chant, we continue to pray, we continue to hope that we can return to our homeland because we know all we get down here is just brutality, you know. Man say we are shelterless, we are nakedless, you know, we are homeless, you know. Man say we suffer from hunger and poverty. Man say in our land Ethiopia, Africa, we are royal, dignified prince and you know, princess, king and queen, you know. So we decided to go back home, you know. So I and I welcome you once more, my lord and delegate, on behalf of our father and our congress, Ethiopia, Africa, Black International Congress. We have a package here to deliver on behalf of the Congress with some documents of the work that the Most Right and the King Emmanuel, the Crown Chapter of Human Rights, has done and continue to do for the release of his people. And I don't know if this is my Royal Highness and the two are the deliver. My Lord, thank Yes, that I give thanks to the communion once more. From 1966 till 2016. We give thanks for your well welcome. We give thanks for life. We give thanks for life. We give thanks for life. For life. So I quote the psalms. Yes, Glory be. Father and his son, the Lord of creation. Yeah, I was in the beginning. No one ever shall be here without him. The last year. Great is our Lord. Great to be praised. In the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for our situation and job for the is Mount Zion, the side of the north, city of the great king, King Emmanuel seven. I do my God. Bless your people. Bless my Lord and all. Today is the best day. Blessed Lord, His Majesty. Today is the best day. Greatest invention of the devil is war. Cramp and paralyze our war now. Peace and love, Red. Last year, Jah, Rastafari. Nishigeta, His Excellency. Holy money will I. Last year, Jah, Rastafari. Give thanks, my Lord. For the eye presence, you know, give thanks you know, to also be in the presence of the eye. My name is the Honorable Priest Imani, and I am a member of the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, you know, which is founded by our father Melchizedek, the high priest, the king of Salem, you know, the, the, the prince of peace, the king of Jerusalem, who met the high grandfather in 1966, you know, you know and, 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 and his majesty, who is the returning Abraham, handed over one tenth of the spoil to the High Priest Melchizedek Emmanuel, which is to restore the monarchy and the liberty of Ethiopia. We also know that Ethiopia did not mean what the Greek says it meant, that it's the land of the sunburned people. We know it's a lie. We know that Ethiopia means the land of gift of yellow gold to God, because originally it was the land of Aya, which meant the land of, the land of gold. And where Melchizedek Jerah sent his son Ethel to settle with 49 priests anointed after the order of Melchizedek in 4000 BCE. Holy money will Hence, Ethiopia bears the name of Melchizedek's first son Ethel, who got the vision from God that when he reached the land of Ayab, he should, he should take the name El of his name and add Ayab. Hence, today, as I say, it will appear the name of Melchizedek's first son. Holy money will lies. And in memory of the visit, my lord, you should get up. In honor of the visit, I would like to hand over this flag to you. Nice. Meeting of your grandfather, yes, with the high priest Melchizedek, 1966. Visit, you know. Right. Right. And this is also known as a staff, also as a scepter which represent the masculine principle. 
in our kingdom we also apart from the red gold and green banner we also write the red gold and green the black over white which represent the fifth kingdom of Christ which is now here holy money will rise thy rod and thy staff shall come for thee Ishigeta in exile through slavery so that we can return. You know, we are the slave children, you know that we are brought here because of slavery and the slave trade. And we were brutalized. You, you, you probably might have been read up to be right with all these things that have gone to the centuries. No, nothing really have changed. To, you know, to, 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 to provide us with all the basic necessities to make us productive. So from our experience over the years, from slavery up until now. Calling at what Marcus Garvey said, we cannot reach our full potential here in Jamaica until we return home to our homeland, where we can see our own God through our own spectacles and speak our own language, Amharic, you know, and all the other languages that are spoken in the island of Africa, the other 82 languages. You know, so we want to go home so that you know we can praise his majesty the right way okay you know we should have taken you to the tabernacle but because of the economics the tabernacle has been blown down more than 10 years now and we haven't been able to put all the finances together to rebuild it so this is where we have to take you here today so all these things are on our mind we're not comfortable in what is going on so you know we're asking you you know to see actually what you can do in terms of you know, the government you have some access with present government the other ones when you came here with your with, with, with his, his majesty 1966 you were a young man young baby at the time so you know you have been on that journey and it's a reason why his majesty have you here today 50 years after you came here it is a reason because Majesty from that time knew what was going to happen. So, you know, you are there now. We are straightening you. You know, we are showing you that the Queen is there. That, you know, it was her mother and so on who took us here. And you have that door because when His Majesty fought Mussolini, he was in Bath. And, you know, so the Queen knows all about the Queen Elizabeth and her way. So, you know, we are asking you to, you know, to look at what is happening to us. Because God is man in flesh and we see you as God in flesh. We see you as, as this is period, majesty just the same way. Because man of right is God in flesh. And you are the, the prince. So 
you must be in the, in the capacity of His Majesty, doing His Majesty work. Because if it wasn't so, you wouldn't be here. So, you know, we have gone through all these struggles over these years. And we are still going through the struggle. We have written to the United Nations. We try even to get, um, to become a, no, an NGO in the, in the UN, in the United Nations. But, you know, they, they, they turned down our application twice. And, you know, we, we, we wrote to them again and fill up the application. And they accepted this time and said, we will put through next year. So, you know, we're going through the doors. The International Court of Justice, because his father gave us a four-point agenda, you know, where we call upon the United Nations, we call upon Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, we call upon the International Court of Justice, too, and, 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 and the AU, the African Union. Now, you are the head of the African Union. It might not seem so to the world, but we know you are the head of the African Union. There's no joke about it. It's only the people who buy passing us would not see that. But you are the head of the, of the African Union. And I don't know why the African Union don't have you there sitting on your seat properly, you know, and while sessions are going on if you can attend them and so on. But you're supposed to be at the African Union at every meeting that is kept with the, with the countries of the world. But you know, these things are going to come up, my Lord. It's just for you now to be a little bit more proactive. I'm not saying that you are not, you know, but you know, with respect to Rastafari work. Because this is the only work, you know, that is in the world that can bring world peace and international security, which His Majesty fought for all his life. Even when he came here, he spoke at the Jamaican Parliament about world peace and international security. So you are in that state, my, in that seat, my lord. You know, you, you have to see yourself as the main mover and the main shaker of this revolution. We're not really a revolution of this righteousness of salvation that we carry out through the earth to bring all hearts into one. Because His Majesty is in every heart. You know, and he's moving through, he's resigning through and moving through the hearts of our people now, of our nation, building righteousness of salvation. So it's for you, my Lord, to finish the journey, to carry on the journey. To so, you know, whatever you can do for us, you know, we'd like to hear if there's anything that you can approach, you know, for us, the Congress, and for the whole houses of Rastafara, universal, international, just to make a look, because His Majesty work is scattered all over the world. There are so many people, Rastafari people, and not only them, people who don't want locks calling upon His Majesty and looking to you. Because if it wasn't so, you wouldn't have brought it here, my Lord. We are looking to you for help. And the help, you, 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 can, you can help us when you know, through your work. Uh, as I said, you are a anointed prince. So it's your duty to continue to lobby for us, Jehovah. has been up for a long time so we want to have him as his private time. You know, we can refresh himself so I'm impressed. 
Greetings to you, the of the most high, the last year. I give thanks to be here, my beloved. I have seen your father in 66 when he came here. I was out and out with me alone, alone, me alone. When he comes and he really wet I even told him as God that day. Because I leave rice and fire in my house and the high school. And I fret when the rain start to fall. And I said the house must be burning down. And I am telling you, when I go back to the house, the fact that the fire don't hold under the rice. And not even one grain turn back. And I ball out say, He is God. So I prove him. And that's my word to you. And I love you as I have loved the Father. And the Father and the Son are at one. Bless your holy name, my Lord. And I hope to see you again Thank you. in the coming time. Thank you. I am Empress Phyllis. I was born the 15th of November, 1941. I am 74 now. I'm still alive. Jehovah. Jehovah. Bless Okay, em Empress, it's okay. I just said love ev everyone. Your Excellency, we don't want to take up much more of your time. So if you have a, you know, if you could give us a word, we'd appreciate that. Of course. His Excellency. I was reflecting when uh, the chants were going on and uh, how much it took to preserve that Africanness under all that stress, under all that pressure. And I think the most important thing is for people to understand that most people don't know. You know? Most people think it's music or art or expression, but they don't know the pain. And that's what we need to uh, reflect, study it, and expose. That's what I felt today. And uh, I have to read enough to understand and create a strategy with good advisors to see the best plan of how to make it a reality. I could stand here and make you all kinds of promises, but I don't want to do that. I want to do what I learn, what I feel, what I can reflect, and then having studied the issues also, what I can do. It may not be total, but at least to create a footpath to that direction. So thank you very much for all the warm welcome you have preserved. May God guide you to preserve more until your dreams become a reality and it will be also my turn. Thank you. You know, on behalf of Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, our Church of Salvation, you know, we must say how happy we are to have you here with us today, Honorable you know, His Excellency. And we hope that you know we'll hear from you more and that this relationship you started you know, more than 50 years ago, a long time, from Cape out of Africa, will continue until we return here. So we give you thanks again for your strength and for your courage for leaving off the main road to come up here.
because, you know, a lot of people wouldn't want you to come here, but His Majesty would come and so you come, my Lord, glorify and honor. So we give you thanks again for your presence, and we wish you, you know, long life, prosperity, and great success, you know, and we're hoping to see that you'll move to the throne as early as possible, because that is what we do every day. That's what we pray and pray and keep Sabbath for is to see Ethiopia return to the, the king return to this throne in Addis Ababa and sit on the throne and then world the peace peace will come to the world again and then you know righteousness will come and cover the herb like how you see water cover the sea so we will have no more Britain in our way we will have no America in our way we will have no more you know you know the Chinese them you know, that we fight in them you know but all these people they come and take from us and leave us weak. So we want to be strong again, but we only can be strong in righteousness of salvation. His majesty and prayers last year we have life. That is what he taught us. Jehovah. Jehovah. Thanks again, my Lord. And you know, we give thanks to God of Hebrew. Jehovah. Jehovah. Oh, blessed love. And your priest is love. And your priest is love. Yes. Oh, great friend of my Lord. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for this. I learned a lot today. Thank you very much. I learned a lot. So now we're going to take a Priest? Yes. Okay. 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 Ready for you? Okay. Priest. Alright. Last year, Happy Sabbath, happy celebration. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. That's what I, I have to study and get get uh, you know ideas from. Yes. 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 Show the goodness and mercy shall follow thee all the days of thy life. I will dwell in the house of the most high forever. Slash Jah, Africa, Jamaica. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, boy, what's your The Black Magazine. You don't know. Who the man well. King Silas, the rest of our life. You know, we're not going to go to the yard. You know, we're going to go to the Sabbath. The King. 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 Lightning is the sun, the Almighty I am. am is the sun, the Almighty I Lightning is the sun, the Almighty I am. I am 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 the sun, the Almighty I am. Shining pretty light, this world will so bright. They will really come on them just so warm and nice. They will really come on them just so feeling right. Come down, say, Lassie, I come down, lad. Come and take a look with just a one in a day yard. Man, I'm making this. Man, I'm making that. Want the righteous black people to believe in that. Lightning is the soul. The Almighty, you tell you. Lightning is the Father. Lightning is the soul. You never see you won't lose your thunder roll. 
for the Lord the Father, I hear is the Son. We never say we younger hear breeze blow. For we say that that makes the mountain, that that makes the sea, that that makes the trees, that that makes the leaf, that that makes bees, bees make sunny, that that makes man, man makes money, that that makes the lady with the pretty baby, that make the lady, oh, let me not. Third man, yeah, daddy says they live in color, color. Right, yeah. Empress. Go down. Yeah, come to some of you. I come to some of you. Okay. Honorable, honorable, my Lord. My Lord. today did you see the the prince Sabbath day. Nice. 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 Tell me about the Sabbath day. Nice. Tell you tell me about the Sabbath day. What did you do today? Today is a Sabbath day, Joshua. You go to Sabbath today? Okay. Can you tell me your name? Tell me your name. Because he is a good man. Daddy, say about you.
a dear me and from judgment yard give thanks. I'm an honorable priest here, you know. Yeah. You know, from the EABIC Bobo Camp, you know, Ethiopia Africa Black uh, International Africa. Congress. Yeah man, I man give thanks to the to the moments I got through to the car. I really see the prophecy and history come and fulfill a second time. And in a sixty six, you know, Abraham did met Melchizedek coming from the slaughter of Lamb, you know, see it. The yeah, slaughters of King's car. But Sister Celestia did meet Emmanuel, you know. But he made shake the king and with a black glove to represent the black house of Israelite, you know. I and I, which are the fifth kingdom of Jesus Christ, you know, we're standing this time. So, you know, see, it, it come and fulfill this time, you know. At them time, it was the significance, you know, the black, five black gloves, you know, with the five finger, you know, represent. The fifth kingdom of Christ, but I and I, you know, in this time come shake the man and, you know, the grandson of his majesty. So we give thanks for such glorious moments. It's one of the biggest history in, in our life, you know, and we glorify and give the thanks and praises. You know, Holy Emmanuel, I trust you, Rastafari, Allah.